Hi, I'm Andy Jones and welcome to Get Modern. Today, in our short video, video series under uh, Intune Handbook, I'm going to cover the assigned licenses. Now, what this really relates to is assigning your Intune license. In order to get up and running um, from day one, effectively, you will uh, enroll your manage your devices, you will need to assign Intune licenses first. So, you need to go off and purchase those licenses, and you can do that in various ways. Um, if you head over to the Microsoft website under the Microsoft Intune Fundamentals section there is uh, Intune licenses. So you can obtain your Microsoft Intune license in various ways. It might be uh, an Enterprise Mobility and Security E3 or going up through the scale up to E5 which increases your features and functionality. The same again under the Microsoft 365 E3 and E5. Obviously Microsoft changes over time, so check back to make sure that it's still relevant. But you've also got the business premium option or some educational options as well. Uh, I just wanted to highlight that to you so it's worth checking. Um, when you then want to go through to assign those Intune licenses, there's various different ways you can do it. So if you go into your Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and then select your users, I'm going to select one user here. Um, you'll see that the there is an option for licenses. Okay. Now it shows that I've got some active licenses going on here. Um, but if I then want to go and assign uh, a license from scratch, um, this user has already got the Microsoft Intune license. You can see, and that's under the EMS uh, Enterprise Mobility and Security E5 option. If I select uh, switch that off. The Intune license disappears, so I need to make sure that it's switched on in order to manage the devices that user logs on to and manage through through your Intune tenant. Okay, the other option which you can assign into your licenses is through groups. So with your uh, EMS or Microsoft 365 uh, licenses capability that you've purchased, you can select a uh, a group that you've set up. So if I'm set up the uh, Windows 10 user group that I've got here again you've got a license option okay so I can then go ahead and select uh, add licenses and then I've got the option for EMS which will add the, uh, the Intune license uh, for those uh, for that group please be aware though if I I'll quickly show you if you for every user that you either synchronize into your Intune as your Active Directory or you create natively within Intune, um, you will need to set the usage location first, okay? First, before you assign that Intune license. The reason being, in the uh, Intune has different capabilities within different locations. So if you've got users located outside the UK, um, and you haven't set the usage location, then it will default to your uh, your directory setting. Okay. The other way which we can go and have a look at uh, assigning licenses is through the Azure portal. So as an admin user, log on to your portal, uh, portal.azure.com. Um, you'll go through the menu option, look at the Azure Active Directory, and again here you should yes, there you go, licensing option. Okay, licenses. Now, if you select all products, I can select the EMS and E5, and then I can go and assign those licenses to a group. Uh, so I can use that route as well. Now, if we head over to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, it may be that you previously bought some Office or Microsoft 365 licenses and used this portal previously. Uh, it's got various information here for allocating resources and setting up your uh, creating your settings one of which is under billing you have a license option okay so here again I've got my enterprise mobility and E5 um, if I select that I can then go ahead and assign now all my users have got EMS E3 um, EMS E5 at the moment so if I selected a user I could unassign a license um, but ordinarily you should be able to assign licenses to your additional users that you create. Okay, so in this video we've looked at the, the various ways of signing your, your Intune licenses. Um, this is a, an essential step 
as I originally said, in making sure that your uh, your devices can uh, your users can enrol and have their ma their devices managed. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, please check out uh, the other the other videos in this Intune Handbook series, and obviously like and subscribe. Thanks very much.